So the first thing that you're going to do is go down to your avatar and click on my profile. Once you get into my profile, you're going to go right over to notifications. And if you open up email notifications, which is what we're focusing on, you'll notice that if you haven't gone in here before, everything is checked. So that is the default that Monday checks uh, all of these when you create an account. And we're going to walk through what each of these means and then help you determine whether or not you want to have those checked on or off. This just as a note is on everyone's individual account. So you would need to make sure that all of your team members go through here and that you potentially walk with them through it so that they have the ones checked that you need them to be checked on. So for, for example, assigns me to an item. Now that would mean if you were on a particular board and you were assigned as a person on this particular item, you would get a notification. Now that can be really helpful if the way that you are going about notifying people is by you want to be able to assign them to an item and then they get notified, hey, this is ready to be done. If you are an organization or a team that takes uh, uses Monday in any way for project management or for future planning and you assign people to tasks weeks, months before they're due, this would likely not be one that would be good to be checked um, because that's it's not sort of a okay I've assigned it now start it or I've assigned it I want you to be notified you may assign someone to 20 30 50 100 tasks at one time as you're planning a project and they would get all of those in their email and they would mean nothing so that's something to really consider mentions me in a post or reply mentioning is when you uh, are writing an update and you use the at symbol to mention someone it is the way that you communicate most easily in uh, Monday is by mentioning someone. So this requires some sort of interaction or for them to look at something. Um, that's when you mention them. And typically we recommend that people keep this checked so that if they're in their email more often than Monday, then they receive an email as well that says so-and-so is looking for your interaction in some way, shape or form. So anything interaction related, we usually recommend across the board that people keep that in their email notifications. Writes an update on an item I'm the owner of or writes an update on an item I'm subscribed to. These are two that we often tell people not to check because we like to train teams to use at mention in order to communicate that something requires interaction. So using the at symbol, that's a mention. If I don't do that and I just create an update, this is an update on this project. Um, there's a number of reasons why I might do this. I might be a personal note. It might be something I don't want to forget for later. It may be something that uh, is something assigned uh, mostly to me. And it's just kind of, these are my to-do list, my checklist. There's a lot of reasons why someone might leave an update that doesn't require my immediate attention or attention at all. And so if that's the case, we recommend that people don't have that those particular ones checked, but rather you train your team to at mention within Monday if they do need to have that interaction with you or someone else on the team. However, if you want to keep these checked at the start, then if you're getting a lot of updates or notifications in your email, you could uncheck them because these are probably the culprit. Um, if anything, it may be that let's say you have a very, a board where you are the owner of an item that's very important and has updates frequently and you want to be kept in the know, you could keep this checked. However, we still don't think it's good for those to go to your email because if you get too many email notifications, you won't see any. And we like to keep that sacred space uh, as your email. So we'll show you in just a moment another way where you can get those updates. These two have to do again with interaction. If you're a part of a conversation, it means that you've interacted with it in the past. 
if you have an update and someone replies to it, again, it's interaction. It's probably something that will require your attention. So we tend to uh, tell people to keep these checked for their email. So again, they're getting that almost like an email uh, reply to, to their email inbox. However, you may not want that. So again, you could uncheck those if you want. These are really only um, important if you are someone who is doing a lot of inviting. Uh, then these are really good to have, um, especially if you are an admin, um, because you can keep some tabs on if someone is invited for, with an email address with that isn't from your account domain. But if you are inviting people, it's a great way to keep um, keep up to date with whether they have either signed up or not signed up. So that just for most of your team members, they can uncheck that. Subscribes me to a board item or team. Again, um, this is sort of up to you to determine if you are um, using the subscribe in the board or an item or you're creating teams, you may choose to have this on. Um, however, if uh, it may not be necessary if you're using either um, at mention um, to give people notifications or if you're um, using, for example, this one here that assigns me to an item. So we'll look at that when we look at the mentions and subscribes in another video. And then notifies me via automations is if you would like, if a no, an automation you have set up, any automation, um, this will send you an automation, uh, an email notification that's basically states the automation. So this isn't just for email automations or notifications that you set up. It's for any automation that has happened on the board that has to do with you. So if you're, if you have taken away many of these and you're still getting a lot of um, emails, we would recommend you turn that one off as well. Subscribes to a new item. I didn't write an update on yet. Um, this is typically one we don't recommend people uh, put on, but you may uh, want this if you are managing a board and someone adds a new item. You may want that to keep tabs on the board so that new items aren't added without you knowing. And then my highlights daily email, um, there is information on here of what that entails. Some people prefer, especially if you're in a leadership or an exec role, to get just one email and that's it. So they may uncheck everything else and keep this checked to get a daily highlights email. Some people don't like that. So it really is a personal option. Now, another place where you can call your notifications is in Monday. Typically we recommend that people keep these entirely checked uh, because this is your little bell. It's very easy just to get a run through of this and you can very easily mark all as red once you've seen them or you can mark them individually as red. It's a little different than your email. And the other place where you are going to get these is in your inbox. In your inbox, you're going to have the option on the right hand side for an inbox view options. Now, if you don't see this, it's because your screen is a little bit too big. So decrease the size either by doing control um, neg minus or control zero if you're on a PC or command zero command minus if you're on a Mac. And then you can actually see that inbox updates is going to show you any update regardless of whether you were mentioned or not, or I was mentioned is going to show you everything. So if I go back just to test this for you and I write an update, this is an update. I'm not mentioning anyone. And I now go back to my inbox. You'll see on my inbox updates, I should very soon get an in, just an update that says that particular one. And there it is. Hope it's not showing up quite yet. So that's the way that you get the inbox updates. And the way that you can filter here, and I don't have any boards that are showing this yet, but you can filter it here by board. And you can also just choose to show I was mentioned. Um, this is going to show you all updates. That one I just made is going to show up here. 
and uh, I can also bookmark updates here by clicking here and bookmarking the update. So this is a great way to get all of the updates that you're looking for. Um, that's going to show up all here if you want to keep tabs on things and you can even filter by boards without creating a lot of uh, unnecessary email in your email inbox. We, again, we think email should sort of be that sacred space. And so um, this gives you some flexibility to get what you want without mucking up your email. And that's the notifications in my profile.